This is a personal video, and all the views and opinions represented here are strictly personal and do not represent those of any company, organization, or another third party entity. Welcome back. Today I'm not alone. I have a guest. Uh, Manan, can you tell us about yourself? Like, who are you? Uh, hey, uh, Manan, uh, I'm one of the residents here uh, at FAIR, uh, and I started with Alexi um, in September. Um, yeah, yeah, so basically, Manon is my colleague here, at, uh, he's also resident. Uh, why do you think I invited you? Uh, is it because of your excellent experience? Not sure of that, but uh, <laughs> yeah, probably okay. because you want. For excellent experience, actually, I asked Tiffany, but she uh, she didn't agree. Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it seems like your experience actually much more closer to my, my audience and yeah, like it's more more realistic to people, mm -hmm. and I think it will be more interesting to hear about. Okay, you've got a larger audience in India then. Uh, I mean, not necessarily in India, just like not everybody from my viewers are from the government. <laughs> I see. Yeah, I mean, like a lot of us are from small universities, and yeah, we try to get into AI or like in big companies somehow. Mm -hmm. So where, where do you start? Where did you study? Uh, so before here, I was at IIT Madras uh, in Chennai, India. Uh, I was finishing my bachelor's and master's combined program for five years. And I was not from a computer science background. Uh, I'm from a mechanical, sort of electrical background, yeah. So okay, mechanical engineering. Kind of. Mechanical engineering, yeah. Actually, I think uh, like the previous resident who was at my team, mm -hmm. he's also like Indian and he was also from IIT. Oh, really? I think so. Yeah, so like, is, is this university is like uh, the largest in the India? Is it considered to be the best? Mm, yeah, I mean, it's the top tier uh, in India, of course. But I'm not sure if a lot of people do come to, do come for residencies. I mean, I've seen a lot, some of them starting to come, uh, but mostly in Google. I don't know if, uh, if a lot of people from my uh, IIT, mm. particularly from Madras. Yeah, maybe, um, maybe not, but yeah. not not for residency, but just for artificial intelligence, intelligence like engineering or other stuff. And I think it's now pretty popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for this, I mean, ideas have been really popular for research. So, for example, for high schoolers who choose university now, what would you recommend, particularly in India? Uh, Which university? So, I would say in India, a lot of people already know this. Uh, it's it's like IIT is the Oh. main dream for everyone okay, so it's like uh, a pretty even though you're not from an engineering background you would know that you want to get into IIT yeah. uh, like a lot of other folks who are into in, uh, the engineering stream want to get into IITs it's not a it's not a thing that people are not aware of that much okay. so sorry, like, there, there are not much other options there are other options but it's the best so everyone knows about it and because so many people sit for the uh, entrance examinations mm -hmm. uh, it's just like very out there so uh, there's nothing that people don't know about, although it's really difficult to get it. Okay, so I think you should have it. Mm. I have uh, questions for you. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so you said you, you, you said it's going to be impromptu, but uh, you find Yeah, I like it. <laughs> you didn't do computer science, but I saw yeah. that you had internships in like uh, VR kind of thing, VR and games. Uh, That's right. I worked on a couple of projects in VR, yes, but they were not sort. Of, they were not really internships. It was like uh, I was working with one of the startups. Okay, so I, it was actual work. Yeah, yeah. Uh, during the semester, actually, during mm -hmm. the coursework. Uh, so I did learn some things from it, but uh, not much. It was much. <laughs> but then, like, uh, in general, you you've been in like this AR, VR field, and there are like a lot of other trends now like why did you choose AI and why, why, why did you decide mm, actually to, so, to move here so I was, like in my in my uh, middle years I was trying to explore uh, what sort of field I, I like to get into that's why I tried VR and then uh, finally I got uh, in touch with computer science research more mm -hmm. and uh, then I got uh, hinged to uh, the AlphaGo program mm -hmm. Uh, then I started watching videos there, uh, started reading about AlphaGo, got interested into AI research, uh, and then in 
in my last two years I was mostly doing uh, research there so that's how I got into it and then of course I wanted to do uh, from there itself I knew I wanted to do PhD mm. so it was quite difficult to get a PhD directly so I, yeah. I thought it's a good program to apply yeah, but let's not rush it so fast like, like okay. first was yeah actually I want to ask you like how you get into like, if somebody asks you like you know, how it was for yourself or like how it, how it would, could be for someone else mm. how to get into VI like you said you rush it you started watching videos watching videos read some books probably yeah so what else uh, you can do? for me it was only uh, it was just out of interest and uh, I didn't I was not particularly taking any courses uh, in AI that much uh, it was all about uh, just we were watching a lot of uh, online courses uh, okay, so it, for you it was mostly online courses online courses yeah right. reading some papers yeah. right. and something particular um, I was just reading around AlphaGo at that time because I was really interested uh, so I got into touch with RL and then I started watching RL videos uh, then I read about RL and then uh, when I finally got into touch with a faculty there mm. uh, I started uh, taking up courses yeah. Yeah. If, some, if anybody do not know RL is reinforcement learning yeah. Okay, yeah so it was pretty much based on your interest and your like self education yeah but eventually you had to contact somebody from academy like some research faculty yeah it was also think that like you can learn something on yourself but eventually you need and to do some research it's probably better to have some supervisor or to have somebody from actual like, research environment to do it yeah because at that time i didn't really know how to write uh, or read papers that mm -hmm. much so you of course have to join a lab and see how people oh. uh, approach that yeah, actually okay, it, it's not it's not obvious for some people mm. like the, well, yeah you actually may go to, to do like research in academy yeah it will help you so yeah you said you, you did some courses like if you like if it would be if you would be asked just one thing which you would recommend to learn or to, to study for for getting into it yeah. what, what is the most useful like any particular uh, book or any particular topic, like maybe some math background or some, I don't know, coding, coding skills? So, yeah, okay, coding is really important, of course. Uh, if you don't, if you, like, if you just have to maximize your chances, I think coding is the best answer. Like Python. Uh, Python, yeah. Uh, but in terms of just courses, I'd say optimization because it's like at the core of everything. Mm. Uh, so you can build your basics from there. So like core machine learning, like optimization. Core machine learning, yeah. yeah. I mean, there are a lot of other uh, subfields as well, but optimization is right in the core. So actually, I didn't, didn't take anything about optimization. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, I don't remember myself taking as a, <laughs> taking any courses as well, uh, but now I want to do it. I see. Yeah, I because I've realized that. Yeah. yeah, probably in reinforcement learning is even more important because like, yeah, I mean, for computer vision, it's most like it's limited to some. Gradient descent. Mm, yeah, so if you're doing like theoretical machine learning, then optimization is of course okay. the go to subject, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. Mm -hmm. And another question like, which people ask me usually, like, very, very often I get this question Can someone with undergrad degree get into AI? Like, not necessarily research, but just AI. For sure, I'm. Uh, in you see a lot of people uh, doing that, uh, not having PhDs, uh, not even having masters and still uh, being at Facebook, Google, these sort of companies. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely possible. I would say it'll, uh, the, the kind of role you'll be having is, will be slightly different from a guy who does a PhD, uh, but it's not a huge issue. Yeah, I think the same, like it's certainly possible, but like just getting into AI is quite wide question and there are a lot of different yeah what do you actually want to do inside yeah. uh, once you get in this field is matter yeah, yeah. Well, there are a lot of opportunities what you can do actually and there are opportunities for phd people and for bachelor people as well mm -hmm. so, yeah it was talking about some companies like google and uh, others so yeah i can you know that there are not so many of them but out of them 
which places are you, you consider the top places for AI research? I'm not very well versed with AI research in general, but in my field, in RL, I would say uh, DeepMind, of course, is mm -hmm. the great place to be. Uh, Fair is starting to get into RL, but it's not uh, extensively into it. Uh, Google, parts of Google Brain are really good, uh, and again, parts of OpenAI. Uh, this is in terms of the inter industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So not a lot of places. Uh, some of them also, I think. India and France, they also do a yeah. some bit of mm -hmm. uh, other work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so let's talk about the, our current program, mm -hmm. and like where we are now. Yeah. Like, how do you like uh, the US? Probably it's your first time here, as well as mine. It's my first time like living permanently here. Yeah. I've visited it before, uh, but it's it's really great. The Bay Area is doesn't really seem sort of that American. -y. Okay. Uh, very diverse, uh, okay. very nice weather. Uh, so, besides besides work, everything seems really good. <laughs> work is good as well. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, work is good as well. Or would you really like to stay here? Uh, I'd like uh, I'd like to stay here, but if I want to do a PhD, so if I get a had I got a PhD here, I would have stayed probably. Uh, but also, I'm I think I'm more of a city guy, so okay. I want to try living in a. A more uh, like vibrant city, yeah. yeah. Which Bay Area is not. So, yeah. Let's see. Mm. And like, what about residency program? Does it meet your expectation? Is it really something you expected? Yeah, yeah, so, for sure. Uh, I think in like ninety four percent of the of the things, uh, it really uh, surpasses my expectations. Surpasses. Um, so maybe a little bit of things which I thought would slightly be better mm -hmm. uh, but yeah mostly very very satisfied uh, very happy I think it's, it's difficult to get some clear idea beforehand because it's like very little information what it actually is yeah, yeah. actually I saw it recently a uh, residency program from um, Google X mm -hmm. and I heard about it recently I heard about it before but I just saw the like open position recently and they actually it's actually very different they take uh, full-time students yeah and they take it for like four to six months, so just in church. Oh, really? Yeah. It was not like that before, right? Uh, I mean, probably for Google, it's still like oh, hours. Oh, it's for Google X. Yeah, it's for X. Mm -hmm. And they, do, they take people along the whole year, like mm -hmm. in time, but you need to be full-time students, so you need to be back to study. Okay. And it's just like, so it's much shorter. Mm. I, I don't particularly think that you can get a lot of done inside four to six months. Yeah, it, take, it takes time to transition into the culture of the company. Yeah, it's like in my fir first four months, I just try. I try to understand like how to connect to something, how to run something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like where, when to where to find food, that like yeah, exactly. Uh, find some services. The stuff that. Like, yeah. yeah. So for application process and like for people who want to get into residency, yeah. can you advise anything? Uh, like, is there any, I don't know, secrets in the process? I don't think so. I mean, I didn't particularly ap apply with a, with a trick in mind. So, I'd say just uh, you have to be honest about uh, what you want to do here. And um, because, because there's competition, so a lot of people will try to sugarcoat things. Uh, in their SOPs, cover letters. So it's better to uh, stick to what you know and then uh, be honest about what you want to learn about. Okay. It's good, good advice. Yeah. I never actually thought about it. Yeah, um, it's interesting for people. Yeah, so what are your plans after you do this? I want to join a PhD program. Yeah. And don't you want to stay here in the company? I, I like the. I like the work, I like the culture, but I think it's too comfortable for me right now. <laughs> so, uh, I think it just feels as if it's a good time to do my PhD. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think probably later it will be more difficult to... Later is definitely difficult, like if I wait for 3-4 or more years, then it's uh, even more difficult. So, get it done as much as early as possible. Yeah. Because I feel I need, uh, I need a lot of time to think, uh, which because... Uh, here there are multiple projects going on, 
uh, there is someone heading you mm. so you don't really get that sort of a, a feel here mm. whereas in a phd it's your project uh, it's yeah. up to you you can take one and a half two years initial uh, in the initial period uh, just to think so i think it will be good to do that plus get some courses done as well mm. because i'm not a f- from a computer science background i've not been doing courses heavily in computer science it's really good, good opportunity to take some additional maximum additional study yeah yeah so just i yeah in one line i'd say phd will offer me more time to think um so yeah. otherwise in terms of research this is a pretty good place uh, yeah, i think it's it may be really important for like, people who want to do research and having this time to think just to to make your ideas yeah and for me I, i don't really feel that passion so i don't feel really interested in that yeah and actually for me it was quite the opposite that for and you really need to have some idea before you apply for pg but then you need to know like what particular direction you want to mm-hmm. maybe not absolutely clear but to have some approximate idea and have some approximate idea in mind yeah and for now like i have absolutely zero ideas like that and right is why it didn't make really any sense for me to apply without any desire to study anything in particular mm. because I think that it's the main, the main purpose of PhD to do like deep research in one particular yeah. like, direction yeah. so you want to take it more like a project by project base yeah I mean, so that uh, like you take a problem solve it yeah, yeah maybe it's a, for me For me, research in general doesn't look so appealing. Mm. I think, I think this is also a good interest. Very interesting. Uh, do you want to advertise anything in your pages or uh, in mine? Yeah, for yourself. No, not really. Uh, okay. What do you want? It's more modest. Um, yeah, but uh, feel free to. leave any questions in the comments and I can yeah. transfer them out and if you can ask Marvin or you can ask me mm-hmm. so we, we, we will check them and yeah thank you for being with us bye see you soon cut that out Yeah yeah sure yeah, yeah. sure <laughs> um I like deleted <laughs>